finally releasing from the simply outrageous moment. An exciting math program. That will reveal ancient solutions to modern math. Welcome to another Simply Outrageous Math lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to subtract by counting up and counting down. Our first problem we're going to work is 79 minus 43. And in this example, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply count using our place values. We know that this is the tens place value and then this is the units or the ones place value. So when you think about the problem here, I want you to think about it in terms of adding, uh, counting up, and then counting down. So here we have 70. So 70 minus 40 is going to give us 30. So we just count it down. 70 minus 40 is 30. So we're here now. So now we have to add 9. So 30 plus 9 is 39. And 39 minus 3 is 36. So our answer is 36. Once again, we have 70 here. Minus 40 is 30. So 30, and then we go back up here, and that's plus 9, so that's 39. And 39, subtract or minus 3 or count down 3, will give us our answer of 36. Let's try another one. I know that was a little fast and a little different, but that's the simply outrageous way. And in this example, we're going to use the number 468 minus 234. So in this example, we actually have 400. And we're going to subtract 200. So 200 subtract, I'm sorry, 400 subtract 200. That will leave 200. And then we come up here and we have to add 60. So now we have 260. And 260 subtract 30 is 230. And then we go to our next column or our units column. We have 8, so 238. And we subtract down here. It's 230. 34 because we're subtracting 4. So really in this example we're adding all of the numbers on the top in each place value and subtracting all the numbers on the bottom. So to go through the example again we have 400 minus 200 will give us 200 and then 200 add 60 will be 260. 260 Minus 30 is 230. 230 plus 8 is 238. And 238 minus 4 is 234. All right. And so we're going to try an example of when we use a carry. So in this example, we're going to use the problem 42 minus 18.
In this example, we're going to, once again, we know we have 40 here, so we have our 40. And then we have 10, so we're going to subtract 10, so that would take us back to 30. All right, and when we come up here, we have 2, so we have 32. And then we have something interesting here. We have 32, and we're trying to subtract 8. Well, 8 is bigger than 2 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down this 8 into parts. We're going to break it down into, um, we're subtracting 8, but we want to subtract 2 first. And then we want to subtract 6. Because subtracting 8 is the same thing as subtracting 2 first and subtracting 6. And the reason why we subtract 2 first is because 32 minus 2 will get us back to 30, which is a nice even number. And then we subtract 6 from 36, that would be 24. So a very easy way to make that happen. So our answer is 24. Let me go through that example again. We have 40 to start out. 40 minus 10 is going to give us 30. And then we come up to the next units column here. So we add 2, which is 32. So we're at 32 now. And then we're going to subtract 8. Well, we want to make sure that we do this so it's easy. So we're going to break 8 down into a subtracting 2 and then a subtracting 6. When we subtract 2, it brings our 32 back to 30. And then we subtract our additional 6. 30 minus 6 is going to give us 24. This has been a Simply Outrageous Math lesson in subtraction by counting up and counting down. Thank you for tuning in.